Robert Parks here. People tend to like unboxing videos to jump straight to the unboxing. However, this is a business product that requires some context first. If you'd like to jump straight to the unboxing, I'll superimpose the timestamp here. As an IT director, my team and I are responsible for, among many other things, a Cisco voice over IP phone system that runs out of two data centers. This is a business phone system that does everything that a company with multiple locations and a call center would need, including phone trees, call queues, etc. It's rock solid, but it required a significant capital investment up front, along with an equally large investment in time to get it off the ground. Three years later, we still have to get occasional support from a third-party consultant with a deeper level of expertise than we have on the team. What if there were an easier way? Recently, members of my team and I got involved in helping a nearby small business build out an IT infrastructure from scratch. We're talking internet connectivity, Wi-Fi for both internal and guest use, desktop PCs, network printers, and even phones and phone service. Enter Cisco Meraki. For anyone who works in IT, you know Cisco Meraki is a purveyor of cloud-managed hardware, including wireless access points, switches, firewalls, security cameras, and yes, phones specifically the MC-74 phone that we're going to look at today. Meraki's claim to fame is that you do literally all the configuration via their cloud dashboard. Then you simply plug in the device, it downloads the configuration, and you begin using it. So before unboxing this device, I've done some preparation. I set up my Meraki dashboard account. I claimed my device, even before it arrived, by entering the Meraki order number from my shipping confirmation email. Before I could do anything to prepare this phone's configuration, I had to add it to a network. You may be aware that you can't actually create a network in the Meraki dashboard without adding a device at the same time. Well, I got hung up for a minute when Meraki wouldn't let me add a phone to what they call a combined network. I got past this by creating a phone network instead. I added a phone number and phone service through Meraki's exclusive voice over IP provider, IntelliPeer. Incidentally, when setting up my IntelliPeer service, one of the first questions I was asked was whether I wanted a new number or to port in an existing number. When I requested a new number, I was given a choice of state and area code within the state, but nothing more granular than that. And I was presented with a single phone number in each area code, not a list of choices. If you're running a business and want a phone number that's local to your particular town, it may be necessary to port one in from another source, including vanity phone number brokers like ringboost.com. I went with the randomly assigned phone number for purposes of this demo, but I'm also attempting to port in a New Haven number that I had assigned to a Google Voice account. Just a heads up, IntelliPeer tells you up front that number porting will take three weeks, and I had a Meraki rep tell me on the phone that he's seen it take as long as four. Phone service with IntelliPeer starts at $8.95 per phone per month and potentially gets cheaper with a long-term commitment. That includes unlimited local and long-distance calling to the United States and Canada. I entered my billing information for IntelliPeer and signed their contract electronically, all within the Meraki dashboard. After getting a phone number from IntelliPeer, I then performed the following steps. I added myself to the directory, I assigned a phone number to a phone, and then I assigned the phone to the user, me. As far as I know, that's it. I'm ready to go, even though the phone is still in the box. So without further ado, let's open this thing.
Okay, so this phone looks absolutely stunning in person. The pictures on the Meraki website look great, but they're nothing compared to the look and feel uh, that you see firsthand. In addition to this beautiful phone and handset, you get a wall mount bracket, screws, the phone cord, and a screen wipe. Okay, so now I've got a power over ethernet cable. Incidentally, Meraki assumes that you'll be installing these in a business environment where power over ethernet is available. If you're installing it at home like me and you don't have a PoE switch, there is a power injector available. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. So I was able to plug in the phone, get the configuration, and immediately begin using it. So far I've attempted to call three people, but because I'm calling from a number they don't recognize, I've got voicemail in all three attempts. So this phone has some obvious appeal, assuming it continues to work as advertised. But how much do the phones cost? I paid $517.16 for this phone with one year of the Meraki dashboard management, plus $8.95 a month for the IntelliPeer service. At that price, it's definitely not the cheapest voice over IP phone on the market. But I've seen the prices pushed down pretty good in quantities larger than one and with a commitment of more than one year. If you're a small business without a dedicated IT staff, or you need to deploy and manage phones remotely, this level of ease may well pay for itself. In fact, it's so easy that even an IT director can do it. Let's hope that this Meraki MC74 represents the future of business phone management. I would ask whether the same approach could be used for home phones, except that I believe that the future of home phones may be released on June 28th. I know that my sister and I both have Amazon's Echo Show on pre-order. Special thanks to Tim Poehler of ChimeNet Inc. in Wallingford, Connecticut for facilitating my Meraki MC74 order. You can visit them on the web at chime.net. If you like what you saw here today, please consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up to like the video or share on social media. Thanks and have a great day.